Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another adventure of Road Trips with Yogi. I am the aforementioned Yogi, and I have a guest with me in the car today. It's Mr. Walter Skilling. Say hi, Walter. Hey, Mike. Looking forward to this trip. My name's not Mike, it's Yogi. Hey, Yogi. <laughs> <laughs> my name's not Mike, it's Yogi. Well, now we know what my real first name is. But yeah, we're going to go uh, do some road tripping. Where we're going to go, nobody knows, but we're going to do some road tripping right now. And we're going to turn the camera back over to Walter. If you notice, we're kind of like twins. See the facial hair? We're brothers, actually. Brothers from another mother. So anyways, <laughs> we're going to... Uh, oh, God, this is going to be an interesting episode. It's going to be funny. Oh, my God. All right, so we're going to head out, and uh, we're going to do some road tripping. So uh, join me. All right? And you're going to see. So Walter, tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. Well, I've known Mike for about nine years now. We've been uh, in a paranormal group for about nine years. We found some amazing stuff, and I'm really looking forward to this investigation. Walter brought his some of his paranormal equipment with him. I did not bring any of my paranormal equipment with me. Why, Walter? Because he's never prepared. <laughs> Because I'm never prepared. That's not true. He usually has a lot of paranormal equipment. Yeah, no, uh, we've done a lot of stuff together, and I was really hoping that where we're going, we might find something uh, more than just scenery. Well, there is scenery here, but there's also an interesting past behind it. So uh, we're going to go to a place that's in the town of Farmington, just outside of West Bend slash Barton. And it is called Lizard Mound County Park. So uh, we'll cut back in when we get there. So we're at Lizard Mound County Park. And it is quiet. We are the only two people here that we know of living. You can see the mounds in the distance. And we're going to kind of walk the trail here. See where the trail leads us. I don't know if you can actually use it. If it's an operation. I guess we'll find out by pumping. Here we go. I don't think so. You want to put the glove on for Corona? Oh, that's one for you. <laughs> nope. Try as you may. It says here that Lizard Mound Park is one of the best preserved and most diverse prehistoric effigy mound archaeological <laughs> sites. Oh boy, in the state. It contains. Prehistoric. Wow, that must mean before the dinosaurs. Yeah, it says it contains numerous mounds AD 650 <laughs> to 1300 in conical linear bird, panther, and lizard shapes. Originally known as the Hangar Indian Mound, the state established the park in 1950, renaming it after the most unique mound in the park. The park was entered into the uh, National Register of Historic Places on October 15, 1970. Washington County acquired the park, which includes a mile-long marked nature trail around the mounds in 1986. So that's pretty interesting. And there's the marker, letting you know that it's on the Wisconsin State Register of Historic Places. And as soon as we enter the trail, there's this hanging from a tree branch. And the woodpeckers are here. My old friends, the woodpeckers. There's a mound right down there.
There's a mound there. Kind of looks like a, that's what we describe it as like a, almost like a pitcher's mound. There's a mound there, and if you can see in the background, all the lush green, those are all Indian mounds. We're going to walk closer and get a good look at them. I heard something right before that too that sounded kind of weird. Maybe I don't know if it'll pick it up on here, but you know, we heard some kind of weird weird sound out here. This would be pretty freaky to come out here at night though. That's when we should come out here and do it. Well I'm just saying that's when we should come out here and bring some more paranormal equipment. I don't know what time the park is open though, but you know, later in the yeah, year, like gets, October. It still gets dark kind of early here. And might be able to make it. Uh, Seven. Seven thirty. Come across another mound here. There actually used to be a mound that was. Uh, it actually was built so you could. There was like a partition, and you could actually, off of this plastic or glass, but you could actually see remnants of one of the. Uh, burials and uh, apparently that got uh, destroyed by by vandals and um, yeah fortunately people don't respect and obey like they should so that stuff kind of went to the uh, wayside because they decided not to re, re uh, reopen that particular exhibit Here's another one. Gotta watch out because there's like little holes here. Dig in the holes. A mole. A mole hole. Very quiet out here. I mean, just to be walking here by yourself, this would be like so peaceful. And another mound. And in the background is more mounds. You know, it kind of looks from here. Doesn't it kind of have like a golf course look? It really does. Kind of looks like a golf course with all those little hills. But it's, those are burial grounds. Those are burial mounds, actually, not burial grounds. Ooh, I really like this tree here in the middle. It's kind of cool. It's just... It's almost African. Almost looks like an Africa Serengeti type of tree or something. This is still a, a mound. This. Yeah, with a tail. I thought I just heard like kids' voices. Oh no, it's a bird. This one here actually has a tree that grew through it or on top of it and it looks like one continuous mound doesn't it yeah so it has a pretty interesting shape it almost looks like it's got legs and a long tail i don't think this is the actual lizard mound but it's uh pretty cool yet another mound and in the background as you can see there's more mounds back there. I believe that's where the path will be taking us next. Not as much moss on these as the ones... I think it has a lot to do with the forest, with the tree line and being under the, sh uh, the shade of the trees all summer. And the fact that stuff doesn't dry out as fast in there. EVP is electronic voice phenomenon for anybody who's not familiar with it. It's commonly used in uh, paranormal investigation. Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us what tribe you were with? And can you tell us how long you've been here? No audible response. Eh, not this time. Burial mounds everywhere, all around us here. This 
one starts right here off the trail. And it's also got like legs. And it is the longest one. It goes way back there into those woods. The tail of it does. Now there's no trail that goes back that far that I can see. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty neat. And on the opposite side, there's another one that goes very long. Oh yeah, yeah, that one too. Got the legs as well. Like I said, a drone would have been really cool right here because there's a nice opening. But you don't, you don't know if you can film. Drones are so hard because they're very limited in ways in flying. Okay, I think we found the actual lizard mound. So it's got kind of a head and it's got some legs and some arms kind of extending from it. I'm gonna to try to lift my arm as high as I can once again. Super it's super long, goes back into the woods. I'm gonna to try to lift my arm up as high as I can, maybe get a better shot for you. I think we found the actual lizard mound. Cut one. I didn't cut one. Did you cut one? <laughs> but I will. <laughs> I didn't cut one. All right. So that'll be on the outtakes reel. So Walter, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've known Yogi for probably about nine years now, and we've been in the paranormal group together. <laughs> Damn it! We we were in a paranormal group together. My name is. What's her name? Barbara Wawa? <laughs> Baba Wawa? Start over. Paranormal group. Start over. Ready?